It's mail time! You guys have seen two mail time episodes now where we're opening up things. Yep. And it was really just kind of like a test pilot to find out what it could be. Back when we were first got into this hobby, I had like a tab on my computer screen that just had all of the websites open just so that I could find out what the latest and greatest thing I, is. I was always checking the RC groups thread. That's where I came across all the, the really cool stuff that I use today. It was like my morning ritual. I would wake up, go on my phone, and I just check all the sites to find out what, yeah. what they just got a sock or what's new or what's around the corner. So what we wanted to do here at Rotor Right. Mail time is basically a place to showcase new cool products that the customer wants to see, that the manufacturer wants to put out there to the customer. It's a one-stop shop place for really cool things like that. And also if you happen to be a manufacturer, you've got a place that you can sort of show off something new and cool that you think the customer wants to see. So if you're a manufacturer, this is an open invite. Just go ahead and click on the link below. Uh, there's a questionnaire that you're going to fill out. If you want it, then you contact us through that link and we can get it on there. If you know of something, that you think is cool that you want to get on there that you want us to talk about want us to see we'll put it on here if everyone thinks it's kind of something cool then we may go further but this is basically just an area to showcase the new cool stuff that's coming out because there's stuff coming out every single day and it's very hard to keep I up. know I know I'm, I'm checking like five different websites I'm yep. checking like tweets and all kinds yep. of things and we're doing a little bit of a giveaway to entice you guys to be involved in this so basically what you got to do to win today is you need to share this video and tag a friend on Facebook and on the next mealtime episode we're gonna go ahead and ask the winner. So what are they gonna win? They're gonna win a butter quad and Lumineer 2206 RX 2350 KV motors. Now on the next mail time episode we're gonna draw the winners for that and hopefully we'll have some happy people. We've got some more cool stuff to uh, show everyone and we'll probably do some more giveaways at that point in time as well. Good luck everybody. Cheers! <laughs> right, we'll start off with this one right here. Just a quick disclaimer. We are at a brand new Rotor Right headquarters. And we're also in the middle of construction. Here we go, the Run Cam 3, let's check it out. And it even comes with the nice little mount. This is pretty interesting, although, you know, I will say that for mini quad use, which arguably what Run Cam is all about, I would have expected something a little bit sturdier. This might be a little too jiggly for that. But if it's meant to just be as a little, little stand for this little guy, that's gonna work great. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Run Cam 3. So what else came from Run Cam? Check that out. The new Swift Mini. For everyone that's building all the little micros and stuff, this is definitely gonna be worth looking at. Feels like it weighs about the same as the uh, Swift 1 and Swift 2. Just a little bit of a smaller form factor. So for all of you guys that's looking for space, this is probably worth checking out. All right, let's move on. A black box recorder. Pretty straightforward. This is uh, accepts a micro SD card. This is really the only way that you can get legit data, especially if you're doing something like notch filters. All right. Let's open a box to find another box. Damn. Look at that. I told them I needed props. Holy moly, did they give me props. These are really small propellers. If you haven't guessed it, we're working on some kind of micro build. Ah, this is an Atom. It's the V3 Atom, including fancy hat. I like it. All right, here we go. We know these guys. Well, look at that. This is Lumineer's new stretch X frame. And the weaves are at a 45 degree angle, which means Oh yeah, that's stiff. Good job, Lumineer. I've been wanting to dive a little bit more into the whole Stretch X theory. My first one is that little three inch build. This is some good stuff. You might recognize Lumineer as making the RX2206-2350 KV motor. They have now come out with the latest version, MX series, 2206-2450 KV. It has got a tighter gap on the magnets. Also, they're running the N52 magnet. So this is a pretty powerful motor. So if you guys want to see us carry this one to replace the old one, let us know. All right, so while I'm putting this away, you guys can cut over to Kevin because he's got some stuff he wants to show you. It's Kevin, Stinger Swarm. I got lots of toys that I want to play with that I have been putting off opening so that I can show you guys all in one fell swoop. It's like Christmas. First package. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, that is uh, not exactly interesting. I got O-rings! But you know what? We gotta soft mount things these days. So I need a good stash of O-rings. I got me some M9s along with a sticker and a battery strap. They are much stiffer than the way Steel has his setup, which I wasn't really a huge fan of. Yes. 
Look at that. I don't even know. I don't know what the insides of a hall sensor look like. I'm gonna have to take this bad boy apart because I want to know what's on the inside. Next package. I need arms because I'm probably gonna explode all over things. Ooh, I like this. Daniel, thank you, buddy. X Hover stickers with the new logo. I like that new logo. It looks sweet. New top plates, backups. What else do we have in here? Ooh, another t shirt. I always need more X Hover shirts. Yes. Uh oh. That logo gave it away. We got new props from Lumineer. I primarily fly HQ props, but I've heard good things and I wanna know what's out there in the marketplace. So I got me some butter cutters. They are five by five by three blades. Curious to see what kind of amp draw I get on these bad boys. Ah, this is the new Acro Whoop flight controller. I've flown the B-Brain. I like the B-Brain a lot, but if you saw my video where I did a range test, I actually ran into receiver range issues on the B-Brain. While it flew great, mine ended up in the ocean and I needed a replacement. And I had heard good things about this guy, the Acro Whoop from Furious FPV. Look at that right there. That is a full range FR Sky receiver, full range antenna, and uh, I'm kind of curious to see if I put it at 200 milliwatt and I have a full range receiver, what can I do with a tiny whoop then? That leaves us with one big old box. That is a box of props. These are the brand new props from HQ. Five by four, five by three, V3 light blue tri-blades. I believe these will be more of the five, four by three V1S in light pink. Five by four by four V1S in green. And my favorite is to do the, uh, now I've got some pink and some green and you make your watermelon quad. That's all of my stuffs so that I got to open for you guys. I am glad that you came along and checked this out. So I'm gonna send it over to Chad and he can show you all the cool things that he's gonna be playing with this week. Scalpel. Come on, Tommy, back in shot. Woo, Wait, I'm back. I'll know you there. I'm back. I know what this yep. is. Yep. Furious FPVs, what they're calling the smart battery. I don't know if this is a prototype, maybe I should have asked them, but this is definitely a 3D printed case. I don't know if the production is gonna be yeah, right. injection molded. You sh did you? Do the test. Yeah, it's good. Maybe I need to charge it. I don't know, but if you guys are in the market for a new goggle battery, yeah, check out the good old folks at Furious FPV. And for you folks out there, oh, you're gonna go get something. All right. So why you keep doing that? I don't know why, but I saw that around the corner, and I thought that looked like a dirty great big quad with a huge prop, and it was just not. Sorry, I had to go and check that out. That is not a quadcopter, and we're gonna get back to the important stuff. You thought that was a quadcopter? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, final glide os. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Australia. It ain't over, man. I still got some more packages when I got home. Man, there's like new props coming out like every day now. So check these out. These are from Ready to Fly. Look at the weave. Got this kind of crazy weave on there. Woo! Six grams. And it looks to be quite aggressively pitched. Oh, here you go. This is a 50-50. All right, let's see what else we got. Bam! This is the Hyperlite. HD frame from Pyroflip, Fire Drone. Uh, in fact, I've been running their six inch version here. I mean, I told you guys that I love six inch for freestyle, but I'm I'm even liking it a lot for racing. So, search sent over the five inch version. This is the HD version with the HD top plate, made for the Connex ProSight system, but I personally like this better because it's got more camera protection and you can mount the battery on top, which is something that I like to do. So, ah. Some people don't like integration, some people do, but this is the new all-in-one, and, and when I say all-in-one, I mean like everything. PDB, flight controller, current sensor, card slot for black boxing, four 24 amp ESCs, yes, four. I like all-in-ones until they break. So I hope that this thing turns out to be okay. You know, it's important to note that right now there are currently three major Flight controller developers KISS, Beta Flight, and then Race Flight. And that's exactly what this package is. So these guys have been working on this for quite some time now. Some pretty advanced software filtering stuff. But the other thing that, in my opinion, that makes this awesome is because I like it when your build is easy. This makes it easy. This is the Race Flight Bolt, which is a 4-in-1 30 amp ESC. The cool thing about this is it just completely stacks. So you take ESCs, Place them on your frame, and then you take this guy, you just stack it right on top. So there's gonna be a couple of pins that you can solder through there, and you place this right on top, and then Uncle Bob's your uncle. All right, cool.
You're going to use all of these embarrassing things, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>